Huge thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring a portion of this video. This might just be one of the stupidest things we've ever done. Hi, I'm Christy. I've been living a plant-based lifestyle for the last seven years and striven towards a more intentional and low-waste one for the last four. Now, I'm on a mission to live life to its fullest. <laughs> By embracing minimalism, living nomadically, moving my body, hiking, skiing, backpacking, and getting outside as much as I can. And figuring out my 20s one day at a time. Entering a new chapter. I'm not sure how to write it. Oh, and this is Rue. She's a spunky little handful. Hit subscribe and come along for the ride. And above all else, to whomever is hearing this, thank you for being you. The world needs your uniqueness. Good morning, actually, because it's not morning at all. Not even close. Happy 4pm for us. We just drove down to Colorado Springs, which is a city maybe like an hour south. I could be botching that completely of Denver. Even though it's going to rain this weekend, we've decided that we're just going to jam pack this weekend with things down here because we haven't been down here yet. And we're only living in Colorado for like another month, I think, which is crazy. We just came down to Garden of the Gods, which is insanely beautiful. We figured we'd take a little walk around. We're going to go for a little bit of a hike. And we have a couple of other crazy places we want to check out. So that I bring you guys along. Garden of the Gods is obviously known for its stunning red rock landscape that was formed during a geological upheaval millions of years ago. I had to Google what an upheaval was in terms of geology, and it was described as the upward displacement of the Earth's crust that's been stretched to include a change in power or ideas, and I have no idea what that means. But what I do know is that the park holds visible memories of ancient seas, ancestral mountain ranges, sandy beaches, and great sand dunes. And that archaeological evidence shows that the first peoples to visit this land were as early as 1330 BC, and in the centuries to follow, several indigenous nations traveled through at some point, and even set up camp. After a few hours roaming the land, a storm was a brewing, so it was best to get out of here. sure that we don't hit the car with any sharp rocks or stumps. Okay. Okay. I can do that. You got this. It is a little chilly out here. Uh, there's a stump right there. Cut this way. Cut this way. Okay. Yeah. We, we originally parked over there. There's no way you can hear me right now, but we noticed this stellar spot from the ridge, so we just came over here. And I think we're gonna test out our new, we got a little um, tarp for the roof. Though we are going to just camp in the car yet again because we're lazy and it's raining. <laughs> are you pleased? Yeah, this is a great spot. I don't know if we just couldn't get to these places in Washington, but I just feel like there's all these great dispersed campgrounds in Colorado. Tell you what, it's not cold cold, it's like wind chill cold. Takes your breath away a little bit. There's two cars up ahead of us at another site. And they had a tent out and then it started raining, so I think I think they're calling it on the tent. I don't know if they're leaving or... I can tell you that if it was not a rainy weekend, we would not be alone here. 
Because this spot is something else. I feel like I'm on top of the world right now. <laughs> Called it. Which means we have this whole campsite to ourselves. <laughs> Mark me, here it comes again, another trap door I've been here before, but it shakes me again My first reaction is to get pissed Yet to resist, like I could change what is outside do you like our matching coats by the way? <laughs> it's funny because she just really wants to go outside even though it's so cold and one would assume that's not a chihuahua's preference but she was having the time of her life out there we slept in some pretty cold places and i was very cold last night Seconds after recording this, I admittedly remembered that it was Mother's Day and I had a little family Zoom call on the itinerary, so we packed up and headed towards cell service. You can pick up a couple of bars up there, but then there's... On our way back into town, we realized our mistake. The events we'd planned for the afternoon were sadly all further away than we'd wanted to drive today, which further solidified my argument for van life sometime in the future, so we didn't have to drive all the way home today. We were a bit bummed, but when we pulled up Google Maps, we saw that there were some cliff dwellings in the area and thought we'd check them out. So we took a quick pit stop at the Manitou Cliff Dwellings and found ourselves disappointed yet again to realize that this tourist attraction was in fact a replica, and more so for young children than for us. And I hate to say it, I also for some reason left with this really weird feeling that the park wasn't necessarily respecting the culture and I hadn't really learned about the culture that it was supposed to be educating visitors on. My optimistic self wants to say that hopefully it was just a bad day for the park, there weren't really that many people around. I feel like this whole vlog I've just been sitting in the car at various angles, but <laughs> Hoping that's okay. We just drove into Manitou Springs, which is the town kind of close to where we were, just to figure out what our next move is. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna do one more activity because we had some plans and I think everything that we thought we were gonna do down here is either too far away or has already closed. We could do a hike, but at the same time, because it's a little stormy out when we get to the top, it'll either be raining and we won't really get a view. Through. Oh <laughs> this might just be one of the stupidest things we've ever done. We found ourselves a doggy agility training center. It's not the technical term, I'm not really sure what this is called. While we're unsure of what we're gonna do next, we thought we would put Rue's skills to the test. She has no idea what she's in for. This is so absurd. I was promised an agility course. I looked on Google Maps, okay. <laughs> there were pictures of what looked like an agility course turned out a mountain bike course. Okay. And the words dog park. Okay? Common common mistake. Close no on. agility course. But a really nice fenced dog park. Let's go walk on these cliffs. Smoky pancakes. And smoky pancakes that he cooked on the fire this morning. Home. I'm sitting here 
getting a little bit of work done. I'm having kind of like a computer work day today. And I was working on love letters. It's coming back. This Sunday is gonna be the first issue of 2021. I got a bunch of super kind messages from you guys over the last few months saying that you really missed it. And this is the week, this Sunday, it's coming back to your inboxes. If you've never seen my newsletter, Love Letters, it's something that I've been doing for the last few years. And it's honestly one of my favorite things that I've ever created. It's kind of a creative offering from me to you, but also where I share things like documentaries that I've been interested in or podcasts I've been listening to this week. I'm also now going to put an exclusive video in every single newsletter. It's free. It's something that I just do for fun and you can sign up just with your email. I don't need your name. I don't need any of that stuff. Completely anonymous and secure and you can sign up on my website at SedonaCristina.com which is also linked in the description box. And what, what, what do you know? Brings me to today's sponsor. Squarespace. I host my website on the incredible platform that is Squarespace. I'm always amazed, always amazed. I'm always amazed that any idea I come up with, whether it's some crazy membership website that I thought I was going to launch a couple years ago, a blog with tons of commenting features and interactive community space, or if you have an idea to start some sort of organization or donation system for a cause that you care about, you can do it all through Squarespace. It really is an all-in-one platform you can just go to, super easy, takes you a couple minutes to figure out, and then once you do, you don't need to hire a coder, and you're good to go, and it looks good. If you're keen to get your own website up and running, you can go to squarespace.com to start your completely free trial. And then when you're ready to purchase your own website or domain, you can go to squarespace.com slash Sedona for 10% off, which is also linked in the description box. Let me know if you've been liking these new vlogs. I feel like it's the start of something new and wonderful. And I feel like you guys know I've been in this like identity crisis mode since a little bit before the pandemic even began. And I finally feel like I'm getting there and making these videos is a really big part of it. And Thank you for watching this far. Thank you for supporting them. It truly means the world to me. And most importantly, thank you for being you. I'll talk to you guys in the next video or newsletter or wherever it may be. <laughs> Remember to stay happy, humble, and forever compassionate. Bye. Love you long time. <laughs>